Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video, or welcome, if this is your first one. So, today's topic, you may be wondering, is how to draw comics faster? It's a very valid question, how do I draw faster? Um, some people might say like, oh, slow down, enjoy the process, and I don't think that's a bad thing. But also, like, I have deadlines. I, like, people pay me to have this done by a certain time, you know? So, you know, it's like, you gotta just find balance between liking what you're doing and also hitting deadlines, right? So we're trying to find that balance today. So, yeah. And comic book artists, like, we put on a lot of work pretty consistently. So if you're grinding out, a page a week, you know, full color, like the whole shebang. You gotta know how to do that in a week. <laughs> like you gotta know how to do that pretty quickly. So yeah, so I, I mean, especially for comic book artists, I think it's fair to want to draw fast, but yeah. And also just like, if you're working on it just by yourself, you know, that's just a lot of work to grind out, again, in a steady amount of time. So yeah, we all want to know what to draw fast, yada yada yada. <laughs> my first tip, well, one of my biggest tips, I like to just get it out of the way in the beginning, apparently. Like, I have so many videos, I'm like, I don't wait till the end, here's the big one. <laughs> Um, so one of my biggest tips is keep your sketches simple. And what I mean by that is don't do too much thinking, too much detail until you get to the inking stage. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because when you're going from sketch to ink, there is some character, some little details that kind of get lost just naturally like this happens to pretty much everyone like i'm sure you've seen all of the memes where someone sketch it they're like oh the sketch the line art and it just looks busted <laughs> so that's what we're trying to avoid right basically keeping your sketches really simple like only exactly as much detail as you need especially if you're a solo artist you're the only one interpreting this, so it can be pretty simple, and you'll understand by the time you get to the ink stage. So, keeping it super simple, and again, doing most of your thinking when you are in the inking stage. Oh, that kind of rhymes, actually. So, you can't forget it. Anyway, yeah. Because when you think about it, if you're losing detail as you go on, and then you have to redo something like that, like you're just really wasting a lot of time, so we're trying to avoid that. Keeping sketches simple is also going to shave off a lot of time in your planning stage. So like, as you're plotting out the page, you know, you're going to erase a lot. And if something you're drawing could potentially get like completely scrapped at the drop of a hat or moved around the page, da 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 da. Well, why put so much work into it? Why put so much detail into it? Like, you can plan so quickly if you just put like general forms, general shapes, even stick people. I know a lot of even professional comic artists who they just draw like little stick people and like write in the words of what they're saying and like that's that's like their thumbnail slash sketch and then they'll do or they'll do that and then like a really loose sketch and then go in with the ink you know so some people just big brain it and go straight to inking i've seen a lot actually a lot of professionals also do that where they just jump right into inking because they're quite, they're like that skilled, of course. That's like, you have to be a super professional to get to that level. But you gotta think if you're putting out enough pages to be wealthy and famous for your comics, you probably have insane speed. 
so yeah they don't do complicated sketches they just jump right in again thinking during the inking don't forget it I will say though if you are someone who's kind of working in like a team of artists right and someone else is going to be like interpreting your sketches right it ha it's gonna have to make sense to other people so your sketches typically are gonna be a lot more detailed if you have someone inking right after you and not you so just keep that in mind if you end up working in a team your stick people might not be enough information for the anger <laughs> And when it comes to the inking stage, like, don't think too hard. Work fast. Working fast is not being afraid to erase as you go. Fail faster, they say. That's, that's the key here. I say draw with conviction slap it on there and if you really need to fix it erase it as far as coloring goes which I do not get to unfortunately in this video but whatever um it's kind of hit or miss for me the idea of doing a color composition I think for some people, it might help them go faster, and for some people, it might make them go much, much slower, and there will be so much si suffering. Anyway, so, color compositions. It's basically where you just slap uh, colors on, on the page, like blobby, you know, you're really just getting like a feel for the color palette, like how it all works together, you know, it's very loosely done purely to establish the colors of each like object, whatever. So, if you're doing that, well, I think it's better than getting stuck, right? So I think if you are feeling a little intimidated by the color, it's better to just do a color comp than stare at the page and be in orc block. So maybe, maybe I'm giving myself my own advice here. Um, only do that maybe when you have color art block. Um, it's definitely good for plotting out um, complicated color schemes or like just like a weird lighting situation or a limited color palette to like, well, okay, is this value going to be lighter? Is this going to be darker? Or whatever. But yeah. So. But yeah, I think sometimes when I do a color composition, the cleanup stage and the like redoing it on the proper layers feels like it's taking a little more time. So use that, use that tip sparingly. <laughs> um, you know, figure out what works for you. Like I said, I think it's it's better than staring at the page and not doing anything, but if I did a color comp for every single page, girl, yeah, that would take forever. Yeah, so use that one sparingly. I think also with color, like, I am not perfect. I am far from perfect. Like, if I color a little outside that line, it is, like, none of my business. So don't get too hung up on, like, every little detail. I think that's the moral of the story. Just put put your art out there, please. I want everyone to make art. So I ask people pretty regularly how I can improve my videos. And everyone has said, please, for the love of God, get a better microphone and I'm working on it, okay? 
so I really appreciate you sticking around through this dreaded glitchy microphone. You are literally the best. And we will get there one day. We've already hit 300 subs on this channel. Oh my gosh. That makes me feel so happy. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. You are the best. Like and subscribe if you please. Thank you for watching. Bye.